Hey Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. You guys were arbitrarily on my mind for this group of readings. We're going into the week of, what's tomorrow, Dad? May 31st. May 31st, okay. Tomorrow is my parents' 45th anniversary, I believe, so, or something like that. Um, I didn't know what day today was, so. All right, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. I don't know why you guys were in my mind. I'm going into what shadows are is your person dealing with, okay? So um, I'm starting off with the Sinking Wasteland Tarot. What shadows, and I'm going to be using Shadow um, Soul Activation Oracle deck from Rising Sun Oracle and a couple of other decks. All right, so what are the shadows that you're person's dealing with this is you could be single or you could be in a relationship or whoever's on your mind okay got king of pentacles okay this is capricorn taurus virgo energy you could be dealing with an earth sign they could be dealing with some issues when it comes to money and status and being a provider okay they've got the lovers which is gemini they could also be dealing with okay so they're dealing with some heartache and also um air sign energy gemini libra aquarius that is you guys um i feel almost like okay you guys could have said something to them or been really harsh with them you might not even realize it but um when it comes to love i feel like they could have some hang-ups when it when it's regarding their finances and being able to be a provider and you could have either said something directly to them or said something regarding your expectations of them and they're kind of um they're doubting their ability to be this way with you they're doubting it, it doesn't have to do with that they don't love you but they could feel like really hurt by something that was said and really like in a lot of self-doubt but we're going to get some clarity from the soul activation um shadow deck my dog is crawling on top of me right now so i don't know what her deal is but okay so um what are the let's get some clarity on the shadows but they also could have been heartbroken from another female in their life i also am getting sort of like mother like their mom is really hard on them regarding like their chosen path of work and they don't feel like they measure up because of that and you guys could have also been mirroring that as well okay too many here We've got detached throat chakra, which is a very air sign energy. I feel when they feel inadequate or when they feel like their their main go-to is to detach and maybe even throw themselves into work because they can't deal with their emotions, okay? Um, they could have also dealt with a very detached like mother figure or their father could have been very detached and very into work and so they have issues when it comes to love. There's a lot of things that are coming to um coming through here we've got cynical yeah this person i feel like they almost um underestimate how important love is because it's almost like a distraction from things that they have to do okay they don't want to put too much energy i feel like it's a defense mechanism because they don't want to get hurt here okay in equality third eye there's two third eyes there's something to do with them not really in touch with their intuition with their even like their heart space even though the third eye is not the heart space i feel like there is a disconnect emotionally with them and there's a lot of focus on money and work because that's maybe what they feel they can control maybe that's what they grew up thinking was like most important here all right, I'm going to pull from the Soul Food Oracle from Rising Sun Oracle and see what energies could help this situation. Cornbread, soft, handle me with care. Okay, so maybe this person comes across like they're very, they don't care, but they actually need um, more warmth, even though they're not really giving you warmth. Look at this, all these comfort foods, mashed potatoes, beef, disconnected, okay? Um, I need to remove myself from the situation. It's like a really delicate balance of um, being like, like coddling them and caring for them, but also giving them space as well. But I feel like they're disconnected. There's something off in their heart space for sure. Okay. All right. Let's get from the heart and soul love oracle on that note. What is really going on in their heart space here? Okay. We've got two cards, which is exactly what I was looking for here divine feminine and lessons 
Yeah, and I'm getting a very masculine energy from them, but I feel they've got some wounds when it comes to feminine. So I definitely feel this person has some like mom issues, okay? I am powerful, but I can be fragile. I'm strong, but I can be weak. I'm beautiful, but I can feel ugly. I am laughter, but I can be serious. I'm joy, but I could be sad. Um, you know, this is also them putting on this masculine front. They maybe weren't allowed to have emotions growing up, okay? And I feel like you guys have maybe come into their life to soften them, but this is like a lesson that they have to learn. Sometimes love puts you where you need to be. It's like you were like the last thing they were looking for, and now they're starting to... They're maybe feeling things in their heart they never felt before, but it's uh, it's foreign to them. Sometimes love puts you where you need to be. Sometimes it derails you and saves you from what you thought you wanted because there's something, someone better, taking you down broken roads, teaching you lessons that need to be learned, and sometimes it brings you back to the beginning, that first love, because that is where you belong after all. And I'm sorry, but I'm getting another mom thing. It's like you reminded them a lot of their situation with their mom, and so... Um, this is something they're learning about their relationships with feminines and their role as men. They're dealing a lot with masculine and feminine themes here and viewing feminines in this like very harsh way. Like they didn't have a warm, loving mother, I don't think. And I feel like there's a lot of heartbreak. There's a lot of wounds that have happened. There's a lot of um, distortions when it comes to viewing relationships and viewing their role and viewing the feminine. So this is just what they're working through, okay? All right, guys, so that's your reading, and I hope this reading resonated with you. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.